Hi, I'm Shaylin from the Sertoma Unit, and I'm here to show you how we can make the best and most delicious snacks after a long day of playing and helping others. We're going to make apple nachos today. So I hope you have your parent or guardian or another trusted adult with you because we're gonna need more hands. <laughs> First step to any snack or meal preparation is to make sure that we have a clean workspace and all of the dishes required are clean. So make sure you take time to wipe down your countertops and everything else that you might need. We will need a cutting board, a small pot, small saucepan pot, sauce pot, whatever you call them. Multiple different bowls for different ingredients. You will need some measuring cups. I've got a fourth of a cup as the only measuring cup I'm going to be using. Fruit cutting knife. Make sure that the edges are not serrated because that makes it difficult. Now, ingredients. I recommend, depending on how many you are going to be serving, I'm going to be using four apples. Actually, I think I'm only going to be using three because it's just for myself. I recommend using Fuji apples, Gala apples, Honeycrisp apples. Those are, those are sweeter and more firmer apples. You don't have to use those. You can use any apples that you have. I'm also going to be using some semi-sweet chocolate chips. If you don't, if you want to avoid the sugar and the chocolate, I've also grabbed some raisins some sun-dried raisins here, you can use raisins. Or you can use other fruits, such as strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, whatever you have on hand. I don't happen to have any other fruits on hand, unfortunately. I've also got some granola here that I'm going to use as a topping. I have some peanut butter. I just have this peanut butter that I have heated up and melted in this pot to make a peanut butter sauce. You can also use anything else you want as a sauce, such as yogurt, you know, maybe some jams, whatever you're feeling for a sauce, as long as it's not caramel, you know. After you've gathered all those ingredients, make sure that you wash your hands. So I'm gonna go do that right now. You will also need to make sure that you have rinsed and washed all of the fruit that you will be using. Now, we are going to cut the apples. If you have a apple slicer, that is totally re more recommended than a knife, especially for you kids. If you don't have an apple slicer on hand, please have an adult use the knife <laughs> for you. A tip that I have learned uh, at edible arrangements is to put band-aids on your thumbs for if you're using a knife for cutting fruit, and I will explain why here in a little bit. So we're just gonna cut the Cut the apple in half and just keep cutting it in halves until we've got some slices that are a size that you are comfortable or okay with. And then have my thumb on this part of the apple and my knife and I'm going to slice the core like that. It's not gonna look super pretty because I'm not good at it, but that's why we put Band-aids on our thumbs so that in case we cut, in case we cut ourselves, we have some, we have protection there. See, I've got here my plate of apples. Next step, once we have our apples, have our peanut butter sauce. Just kind of take some in your spoon and drizzle it on the top. You can make this sort of a competition and see who can make the prettiest one. And then you get to top it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fourth cup of chocolate chips over the top. Kind of try to spread it out as best you can. And now I'm going to put my granola. That's looking so good. And here we have my finished apple nachos.